RH null blood type, the rarest blood on earth. Imagine having blood so rare, hospitals treat you like a national treasure, or more accurately, a very fragile limited edition. Less than 50 people on the planet are known to have it. It's called RH null, nicknamed golden blood. Not because it sparkles, but because if you ever need a transfusion, it's basically game over. You've probably heard of O positive or O negative. That's just a way of describing the RH antigens on your red blood cells that let your immune system know they're part of the home team. RH null means you have none of them. Zero. You're the blank canvas of blood, the universal donor, technically compatible with almost everyone, but the universe forgot to make anyone compatible with you. That means if you lose too much blood, doctors can't just grab a regular IV bag and hope for the best. They need another RH null donor, and there might be five people alive who could help you, spread across continents, possibly asleep, and definitely not picking up unknown numbers. It's the kind of mutation that feels like winning the genetic lottery, only to realize you got the consolation prize. You're biologically special, but medically impractical. Scientists still don't know why this mutation exists. It's like nature hit delete on a few critical blood codes. So, if you've got RH null, congratulations! You're carrying one of the world's rarest forms of DNA ever found. Just maybe don't go skydiving, wrestle with bears, or do anything that might make you bleed. SEPA mutation. Nature's Novocaine. You could slam your finger in a car door, crack your head on the corner of an open cabinet, or wipe Ooh. out on your bike doing 30 miles an hour and think, huh, where's all this blood coming from? Then move on with your day. That's SEPA. Congenital insensitivity to pain with anhydrosis, the mutation that turns your entire nervous system into a bad customer service line. Nothing gets through. Pain, for everyone else, is an early warning system. For you, it's a rumor. You don't get the memo until something's swollen, bleeding, or quietly dying. You can break a bone, keep walking, and only notice when it stops cooperating. Kids with SEPA have to be taught not to chew through their tongues because their body doesn't have the common courtesy to say, hey, stop that. And the no sweat part? That's literal. You don't perspire, which means your body can't cool itself. You can overheat during gym class, in your sleep, or just because summer showed up. The thermostat says fine. Your organs disagree. Doctors tell SEPA patients to do daily body checks, like their own TSA screening, burns, cuts, blisters, mystery dents. It's not about vanity. It's survival. People think living pain-free would be amazing. It's not. It just means you're the calmest person in every emergency. Until you realize the emergency is you. DEC2 mutation. Who needs sleep anyway? Ever meet someone who swears they only sleep four hours a night and still wake up chipper? You assume they're lying or somehow broken. But some of them aren't either. They've just got rare DNA with a built-in sleep hack. It's called the DEC2 mutation, and it basically tells the body, you don't need eight hours, you're good with five. It rewires how deep sleep works, skipping the nonsense, hitting the repair stages faster, and waking up early without the usual brain fog. These people don't push through tiredness, they just, don't get tired. Their energy resets like a phone that charges to 100% in 20 minutes, while yours still needs to sit plugged in overnight. Scientists found that the DEC2 variant shortens the natural sleep cycle without wrecking health, meaning these folks aren't burning out, they're running a more efficient model. The rest of us try to copy them with caffeine and ambition, but our DNA just laughs and demands a nap. LRP5 mutation. Bones that could stop a truck. Some people take a fall and fracture a hip. Others take a fall and break the floor. That second group probably carries a rare mutation in the LRP5 gene, the genetic blueprint behind unnaturally dense bones. In most people, bones have natural turnover. Old tissue breaks down and new tissue forms. The LRP5 mutation messes with that cycle by overactivating bone growth and slamming the brakes on bone loss. The result? A skeleton that's basically reinforced concrete. There are verified cases of people walking away from car crashes or high-impact injuries with nothing more than a bruise and an attitude.
Doctors first spotted it when patients came in for checkups and their x-rays looked overexposed. Because their bones were so dense, the light barely got through. In medical terms, it's called high bone mass phenotype. In everyday language, it's being built like a brick. The upside? Practically fracture-proof bones and a lifetime pass on osteoporosis. The downside? Dentistry hates you. Teeth extractions can turn into a construction project, and certain surgeries require drills designed for metal because regular ones snap. The mutation is rare enough that researchers study it for clues on treating osteoporosis, trying to figure out how to replicate the effect without any unintended side effects. For the handful who have it, slamming to the ground is an inconvenience, not an injury. Everyone else curses gravity. They make gravity apologize. ABCC11 Mutation the deodorant gene. You ever wonder how some people finish a full workout and somehow still smell like fresh laundry? Turns out, that's written in their DNA. The ABCC11 gene decides whether your sweat actually produces body odor. If you've got the non-functioning version, congratulations, your armpits are genetically incapable of stinking. Normally, sweat glands release a chemical mix that bacteria love. The bacteria break it down, and that's the rancid onion smell everyone recognizes as human. But the ABCC11 mutation shuts that recipe down by taking away the main ingredient. Your sweat comes out clean, so the bacteria have nothing to work with. Believe it or not, that same gene also controls earwax type. So if you've got dry, flaky earwax, there's a decent chance your body smells pretty darn good. But that's not the only perk. That same mutation also makes you less interesting to mosquitoes. They track us using scent, and if yours doesn't carry those key compounds, they skip you like a bad buffet. While everyone else is getting eaten alive, you're standing there wondering what the fuss is about. It's one of the few rare mutations that's genuinely convenient. No downside, no trade-off, no, you might die if you ever need blood. Just a cleaner sweat cycle and fewer bite marks. CCHCR1 Mutation the wild hair gene. You could shave your head today and need a trim by the weekend. That's how fast CCHCR1 works, a rare mutation that puts your hair follicles on permanent overdrive. A typical strand of hair grows for a while, takes a breather, and eventually falls out to make room for new growth. With this mutation, that rest period just doesn't happen. Instead, your follicles keep producing keratin non-stop, like they're working on a never-ending assembly line. This runaway growth first caught attention when burn patients started regrowing hair faster than doctors could process the paperwork. Instead of scars, they left hospitals with thicker hairlines. The gene had somehow jammed the heel button and forgotten to release it. There's no medical crisis that comes with it, just a lifetime of extra haircuts and a grooming routine that feels like a full-time job. While most people wish their hair would grow faster, you're just trying to make it stop. PAX3 Mutation the handsome Squidward gene. People stare longer than they should, eyes locking on like they've spotted an AI-generated face in real life. That mix of midnight hair and pale, almost glowing eyes isn't airbrushed. It's PAX3, the gene that decided symmetry wasn't enough and went for dramatic coloring, too. The PAX3 gene helps control pigment and facial structure during development. When it wanders off script, it creates that striking contrast bright blue eyes against dark skin, a shock of white hair, or that movie poster bone structure people assume is surgical. It's tied to a condition called Wardenburg syndrome, where the results swing between barely noted and a visual masterpiece. Nature didn't intend for it to look mysterious. It just ended up that way. Even when you're just standing around, your DNA's ready to audition for the next Man of Steel. People assume it's fillers, contacts, or surgery. But the truth is, evolution accidentally discovered high contrast, and it put it right in your face. ACTN3 Mutation The Sprinter's Dream One second you're standing dead still, the next you've detonated off the blocks leaving everyone choking on your dust trying to figure out what just happened. That's ACTN3, the gene that swaps endurance for explosion. The molecular difference between good effort and lightning speed. ACTN3 builds a special protein inside your fast-twitch muscle fibers, the ones that fire hard and fast. If you've got the RR variant, those fibers are supercharged. Shorter bursts, higher force, instant acceleration. It's the reason Olympic sprinters keep showing up with this mutation like it's part of the uniform. 
The trade-off? You burn through energy faster than you can pronounce glycogen. Long-distance runs are pure punishment, but give you 10 seconds and you'll rewrite the laws of physics. People call it talent, training, or natural ability. But when you've got ACTN3, your muscles skip the countdown and go straight to the launch sequence. The moment the signal hits, you're already gone. Dystichiasis. Built-in mascara. You blink, and the room notices. Twice. Dystichiasis happens when the FOXC2 gene misfires and decides your eyelids could use some extra decoration. A second row of lashes grows where oil glands should be, giving your eyes that lash extension look that people pay good money to fake. Those extra lashes frame the eye like a built-in beauty filter, thick, dark, and perfectly spaced. Elizabeth Taylor had it, which explains why she looked camera-ready even at the DMV. But those lashes aren't always gentle. When they grow inward or trap extra debris, every blink can feel like dragging a feather duster made of thorns across your eyeball. Doctors can remove them, but they tend to grow right back, like your DNA refuses to take constructive criticism. Evolution didn't design this for beauty, it just stumbled into it, and you're the one left blinking in HD. Tetrachromacy Technicolor Vision Remember that dress the internet couldn't agree on? Blue and black or white and gold? You see both, and a whole lot more. Tetrachromacy means you've got four types of color-detecting cones in your eyes instead of the usual three. That extra cone widens your visual spectrum so much that you see colors between colors, shades so specific they make paint stores seem understocked. Most tetrachromats don't even realize they're special. They just wonder why everyone else keeps calling clearly different shades the same thing. Artists, designers, and painters who have it describe colors the way sommeliers describe wine. Poetic, specific, and a little smug. Scientists think it mostly shows up in women, thanks to how the gene sits on the X chromosome. So, if you've ever been told you're too picky about matching outfits, maybe your eyes just came with a higher resolution setting. Myostatin deficiency. Born shredded, no steroids required. Picture a child who can outlift grown-ups before they outgrow their crib. That's myostatin deficiency, a gene mutation that basically forgets to turn off muscle growth. Most of us produce myostatin to keep our gains in check, a safety limit so we don't bulk up like we're Mr. Olympia. But when that limit doesn't exist, muscles just keep packing on mass, even without a gym membership. It sounds like a superhero origin story until you realize the human body isn't built to be a perpetual muscle machine. Too much muscle strains the heart, the tendons, and the frame built to carry it. Energy burns faster than it can be replaced, and recovery is a full-time job. So while myostatin deficiency makes strength look effortless, the truth is the body's paying for it the entire time. Because power without limits always finds one on its own. Rare DNA seems like an advantage until you read the fine print. Don't stop watching now. Stick around for more of evolution's best mistakes and accidental perks.